Hello everyone. This is the chapter two of biology. The structure of chromosomes is a cycle and cell division. Chromatin fibers are actually a mass of genetic material which are composed of DNA and a special kind of proteins which are called as histone proteins that condenses to form the chromosomes. Chromosomes are thread like structures in the nucleus of plant and animal cells made up of proteins and DNA. Each chromosome is made up of two sister chromatids, each joining at a common point of attachment called cytogonia. This is a chromosome picture which is given alongside. Next topic is the structure for DNA. The structure Structure for DNA actually is a double helical structure. It has a double helical structure and is a darker molecule because it is made up of a chain of nucleotides. Each DNA strand is made up of a repeating nucleotide. Each nucleotide is made up of pentose sugar, phosphorus, nitrogenous bases, each base joined with a hydrogen bond. The bases are adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Adenine always pairs with thymine, and guanine always pairs with cytosine. The diagram of DNA is given alongside. The formation of new DNA. For replication, the DNA doubles by opening its helix at one of the points and making the two strands free, to which the new strands are formed. It is semi-conservative in nature. It means that when the new DNA is getting formed up in it, one strand will remain as old and the other will be a new one which is going to get formed up. The genes. The genes are specific sequences of nucleotides on a chromosome that forms a particular kind of proteins and is expressed in form of a some body feature in the body. Why is there a need for cell division? For growth of an organism, for repair and replacement of cells, for gamete formation in sexual reproduction. For these three reasons, actually, the cells need to get divided. The cell division. The cell division is actually of two types, mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis, it is a cell division usually used for growth and repair and replacement of cells. It is call, also called an equational cell division. It produces two daughter cells with similar number of chromosomes as in the parent cells. It occurs in somatic cells of the body. What is karyokinesis and cytokinesis? Karyokinesis is the division of nucleus during cell division. This process is called as karyokinesis. It always occurs before the division of the cytoplasm. Cytokinesis is the division of cytoplasm after the nucleus has divided. This process of karyokinesis in mitosis, it actually has a four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In the prophase, the chromatin fibers, they get loose, they become thick, they become short and condensed. The chromatids formed join in pairs at common points called centromere to form the chromosomes. Nuclear membrane disappears along with the nucleus. In the animal cells, the centrioles duplicate and move to the opposite poles, surrounded by aster rays, but in the plant cells, no aster formation occurs. The spindle formation also occurs between the poles and the duplicated chromosomes move to the opposite poles. The diagram given here is 
showing you the different stages of interface that is the resting stage then the progress you can easily see centrals moving to the opposite sides in an animal cell whereas the rectangular cell is the plant cell because it has a cell wall and also centrosomes or as they are absent metaphase the chromosomes arrange themselves at the equator of the cell with the centromere being fixed upon the spindle fiber anaphase as the spindle fiber contracts the centromere ruptures and pulls the sister chromatids to the opposite poles by the end of this phase in animal cells a further formation occurs from periphery to the center and in plant cells a cell plate forms from center to the periphery the given diagram alongside is showing you the first of all metaphase you can see that in both the cells the plant and the animal cells the chromosomes are arranged in the center of the cell that is the equator of the cell then shows for anaphase anaphase is again making sure that the chromosomes have ruptured from the centromere and now they are reaching to the opposite poles of the cell even the spindle formation is visible when the spindle fibers are contracting they are pulling the sister chromatids to the opposite sides in the last diagram of anaphase you can see that in the animal cell the fire formation has started whereas in the plant cell no such formation has occurred the cell plate is used for getting it divided then the last phase is the tender phase the cystic chromatids reaching the opposite poles starts unwinding to form chromatin fibers nuclear membrane and the nucleolus reappears the furrow in animal cells and cell plate in plant cells deepens and divides the cytoplasm in two daughter cells you can see the diagram which is given animal cells the furrow has deepened in cell in plant cells the cell plate has started and ultimately the two daughter cells have been produced out what is the significance of the cell division process the cell division process is actually needed that is mitosis is required for growth repair and replacement of cells it is a kind of an asexual reproduction to help in maintain the same number of chromosomes in the daughter cells the cell cycle the daughter cells form directly can't enter into division phases and so it has to prepare itself by undergoing the interface in which it prepares itself for next cell division and grow up to the size of their parent cell its three phases are first growth phase rna and proteins are synthesized in it and the volume of cytoplasm also increases at the end of this phase the cell has two options either to withdraw from cell cycle and up and enter the resting stage or start preparing for next cell division by entering the next stage of the cell cycle cycle synthesis phase more dna is synthesized and the chromosomes are duplicated second growth phase only rna and proteins for cell division are synthesized then the cell enters into prophase and cell division continues the next topic uh, the next diagram actually shows you the cell cycle here the bigger phase that is interphase when the cell leaves the interphase it enters into prophase metaphase anaphase and the telophase and then again karyokinesis and cytokinesis and the cycle goes on what is meiosis meiosis is a reductional cell division it occurs in germinal or reproductive cells of the body it is used for formation of gametes like sperms in males and ova in females it reduces the chromosome number to half in the daughter cells formed in it chromosomes are haploid or in unpaired condition so that on fertilization the normal number of chromosomes can be restored in the daughter cells but the significance importance of it the significance of meiosis is chromosome number is half in the daughter cells it allows for mixing up of genes of maternal and paternal chromosomes leading to variations in the offsprings it helps in the sexual reproduction by formation of gametes 
even in the diagram which is showing that it shows two processes crossing over right the two different colored chromosomes are there one is of maternal but the other one is of paternal the places where the chromosomes are overlapping this is overlapped region which is called as chiasma when wherever the chromosome parts are overlapping from there the genes of both of these different chromosomes will get interchanged you can see in this diagram and this process is called as a crossing over this allows for the combination of genes of both mother and father the last table differentiates between the mitosis in plant and animal cells in the animal cells the asters are formed in the plant cells asters are not formed animal cells are having cytokinesis by following the cytoplasm whereas in the plant cells it is by cell plate formation in the animal cells this occurs in most tissues throughout the body for growth and replacement whereas in the plant cells it mainly occurs at the growing tips for lengthening and sites and that is the increase in the growth okay with this we have come to the end of the chapter hope you would have understood it thank you very much